I kind of launched Brahala, and we're in Heatwave event. So that's... <laughs> that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's 1am, like the patch hasn't even been announced yet, so I don't even know what's in here. But apparently we're here. This is what happens. This is... This is what happened when Onyx was released, actually. Fun fact. I kind of just... Lo oh! Alright, my bad. <laughs> well, my bad. You were, you were just trying to cross your arms there. Well, it happens. Uh, yeah, so when Onyx was released, if I'm being honest with you, I didn't even know a new character was coming out. But, uh, <laughs> I launched the game at like 4am and there she was. So I was like, oh, okay, I guess I'll play as a new character. And then, uh, oh my gosh, that had priority. Insane. Yeah. So, really, you should use me as your news source, the more I think about it, right? Because it's, do I have the most up-to-date information? No. Do I have the most accurate information? I mean, the information isn't even out yet, so it's impossible for me to have accurate information. But do I get there before anyone else by accident? I guess I do. I guess I do. Really, and that's the journalistic integrity that we're looking for in, uh, in these here Valhallen parts. They call me the Nightcrawler for Hall. Not because, uh, not because I'm Jake Gyllenhaal, but because I'm... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that. I was going to say something stupid like Jake Pill and Paul, but, you know, you're not here for that. I, I don't, I shouldn't have lived there. Anyway, I, I just wanted to, to sit down and talk. You know, it's been a little while. I guess I, I kind of did have that Rayman video a little while ago, which was a late night unloading thoughts video. But I mean, <laughs> if you know the one I'm talking about, then you know it wasn't really, uh... <laughs> Eh, that doesn't really count. Because let's be honest here, if I didn't know what I was talking about, then nobody knew what I was talking about. Because, yeah, I, I really didn't say anything. Uh, but this is going to be a little different. More along the lines of the uh, more old school late night commentaries, casual commentaries, whatever you want to call them. Doesn't really matter. Just unloading, I guess. Uh, I'll play as a little Vector Man, uh, Volkov Man, Chase Dodge off the map. That's fine. The gameplay is, again, kind of in the background here, so... Whatever happens, happens. I, I might lose, I might win, who, who knows? I might have the, a Rayman jump off the map, <laughs> like... And even though I'm already dead, but, you know... Those kinds of things happen all the time, I guess, so... Yeah. Just talking. Uh, something that's been on my mind recently... And it relates to these kinds of videos. And it's also why I haven't made one in a while, is, uh... I've been feeling a lot of... I guess anxiety maybe about or worry maybe those are interchangeable actually those are different but yeah worry about I guess okay it's a long train of thought so I'll break it down the first thing is that uh, I feel like in many ways some of the problems that I've talked about or some of the things that I'm dealing with I've been getting better at them um, over time, I, I, like, I feel a little bit more confident, a little bit, like, more happy than I have, than I was before, you know? But I, at the same time, almost don't like that, which is weird, right? Like, that's the opposite of what you would think, because it makes me feel like, in some ways, I'm, like, gonna lose my relatability. Uh, and the reason why that creates anxiety, I guess, is this worry that people only watch me because I'm, like, relatable. And, like, that's the only reason why people are here. When really, if I kind of break it down, I have no idea why people watch me. And, uh... And that's fine. But sometimes those thoughts, like, creep up, so... It is what it is, but... Yeah, in many ways... These videos are just unloading thoughts. They're just thought dumps. And... If I sometimes feel like my thoughts are not good enough to put in a video I'll probably just delete it like I'll still make the video because in, in many ways I enjoy making these videos they're a lot of fun like don't don't get me wrong but sometimes I'll just delete them like I'll, I'll make a full one I'll delete it I'm gonna be honest this is the third time I'm recording this one so <laughs> well not this one this part of this one I uh, <laughs> I, I didn't go back and re-record me <laughs> reacting to realizing there was a patch <laughs> But you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm saying. But at the same time, I sometimes, part of what stops me or part of what prevents me sometimes from making videos is the fear or the worry that uh, it's like asking for sympathy or asking for pity. Because 
normally what happens, and I know it comes from a good place, so this is why I kind of haven't, like, talked about it or I haven't mentioned this, is that in talking about feeling insecure about my position, my audience, and, like, what I've I, and how lucky I feel for having a platform and, and how grateful I am for having an audience and, and, and all that and having a level of success that is like I, I cannot even comprehend like 70,000 people subbed uh, I've talked about this I mean a lot and I'm sure I'm sure this is a common thing for those uh, that have a, a kind of platform in this modern era by the way I should mention now for the status tax uh, 65% of y'all that watch my videos every day aren't subbed, so if you want to, uh, it helps out, and it doesn't take much. But if you don't want to, you know what? That's fine. Uh, I lost my train of thought. I feel weird shilling, I guess, is, is another thing, but I also kind of feel like I have to. Oh, that was probably missing, but, um, yeah. I lost my train of thought, though. I, I forgot what I was talking about. This is what happens when you shill. Don't shill. Uh, anyway, what was I talking about? I was talking about, <laughs> alright, I guess these videos are back, <laughs> just me losing my train of thought. If you're new here, I kind of do this a lot, I just haven't been recently. Although I have been really uh, happy with the content that's been going out lately, so that's cool. Anyway, what I was talking about was uh, airing grievances sometimes makes me feel bad because of the response, is, makes me feel worse. Um, Hearing people in the comments be like, you know, I, I didn't know I was the only one that had these thoughts, you know, thank you for making the video. Those make me feel amazing. Um, but then comments when I talk about like feeling insecure about audience or like, like this one, like losing my relatability makes me afraid and, and it's not all the time because, you know, as humans we fluctuate, we're not in the same mindset all the time. You know, sometimes I think, you know what, if my YouTube channel completely falls apart and I can't make videos anymore even though I love making videos you know ultimately that's okay because I'm happy with what I've done and, and again I'm happy with the videos I've been putting out uh, the stream highlights I've been editing some of them and then I brought on XED and, and Brandon to do some of the stream highlights as well and that's been really great I've been really happy with those um, but I'm getting distracted again anyway um, sometimes I'm just like you know what I'm okay with that if, the, if I if I can't make YouTube videos anymore it's fine it, it was it was fun while it lasted. Uh, I'm very glad I was able to, and it was a great opportunity. Other times I get really worried about it, like, oh, if this falls through, then what am I going to do over the summer? How am I going to make money? You know, other uh, other thoughts, but most of the time it's, it's okay. Uh, anyway, but I think about these things, and then I, I worry about airing my grievances sometimes because, well, for the, fir for the most part, or for the, fir for the first off, I cannot speak. Again, should be no surprise <laughs> at this point, though, um, because for the for the uh, first off, it's it's definitely lucky problems to have. Um, but then I think about you know what, even if they are, it's very widely applicable. If you instead instead of looking at the exact surface of what I'm talking about, and and you look at the things behind it, the underlying things behind it, I think it can apply to a lot of a lot a lot a lot of people. Um, a lot more than at, than at least, uh, are making YouTube videos in the Brahola community for this specific audience or whatever. Um, so I think about that and, and how, even if I think maybe I, I don't deserve to feel bad about having issues because other people have things worse than I think about, uh, well maybe it will still help someone, or, may or maybe just talking about it will be entertaining and, and make someone feel better in the day, or, or maybe they just want to watch a video and this is the video they clicked on and that, that is what it is and I'm thinking too deep, or I'm thinking too far. Um, and then another part of me is like, I'm my own individual person and whatever I feel is real, so maybe I deserve to, to talk about things or to feel certain things, and this is my platform so I can kind of do whatever I want with it, um, really, if you think about it. And I'm playing a children's party game, <laughs> or, or a children's flash game, so who's the real loser here? I, I don't know. <laughs> no, I love Brahala. But uh, the thing that makes me feel worse is not when people say, like, I related to that, or, or I felt that, or thank you for sharing that. It's when people go, no, you know what, I'll watch your videos no matter what you make. Or, 
No, you, you, that's not true. Like, we love your videos. You'll do, you'll do great, or I don't know. I uh, I can't. I guess I can't think of them off the top, off the dome right now. Um, but those kinds of things actually make me feel worse. And this is why I haven't, again, like addressed it because. I know it comes from a good place, and I know it's like people trying to make me feel better, but I think there's two things to uh, to consider, which is that number one, I'm not looking for people to make me feel better, which maybe I should communicate um, better, and that's on me. But the like these videos aren't like a cry for help, like you know what, I'm worried about my channel, and or, or I'm worried about myself and how that's reflected sometimes in the content I make. Uh, that's not like a a cry asking for compliments or something like that because again that kind of makes me feel worse and the reason why it makes me feel worse and I guess I should explain that is because a lot of the time although it, it's being sincere and trying to be genuine what it is is invalidation because if you think about it I'm saying I'm worried about all these things and then by saying like no no no, no don't worry don't worry like we like the videos. What it's basically telling me, or what what that communicates to my brain, is like, no, you're just wrong. You're stupid to worry about these things. Which I know is not the intent behind it at all. Which is again, why why I, I'm like I feel so nervous talking about this honestly, because I'm basically just saying, if you've uh, <laughs> tried to make me feel better, you've made me feel worse, and I don't want you to feel bad about that, because it, it's just I mean it happens all the time. It's just humans. It, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, the reason why it makes me feel worse is because it feels like invalidation. Because when people kind of air their thoughts, uh, and maybe I'll, I'll, maybe you can think of an example of this in your life. Like when you air certain things, when you say something that you haven't said for a while that you really needed to get off your chest, and someone just either ignores it or says, "No, I mean, you're, you know, that's not really true. I mean, you're you're kind of wrong there." You feel a lot worse. Like it, it makes you feel bad. I mean, it, you probably feel better because you've aired the the thoughts that have been bubbling up bubbling up to the surface of your mind, so you probably feel better in that respect, but uh, what you kind of just need is is validation. Um, and what often happens is invalidation because, and I'm very guilty of this, I, I do this too, literally everyone does this, so I guess maybe this is a, this has turned into communication, talking about communication. <laughs> Strangely enough, I really don't know where these videos will end up if I'm being honest, I never do, but I'm kind of happy with whatever it is, because it is just a, a train of thought. Um, but yeah, it's, it's communication because what you're communicating when I say I'm worried about losing my relatability and the reason why that worries me is because I feel like people only watch me for my relatability and people go, no, we don't only watch you for your relatability. Don't worry. I know that that's like, what that is, is trying to solve the problem when really what I need in that moment is just validation that the problem I feel like the problem is real because to me the problem feels real and by com like communicating that the message that it sends is no the problem isn't real and the reason why I'm using this example like this is not very extreme in the grand scheme of things this is not very important it doesn't really matter that much but I think it's like you can apply it to other situations and that's because I've already addressed it earlier like that's why I'm using this example oh I, I, my input just didn't come out um, I'm using this example because I guess we're all familiar with it because I've been talking about it for a while. But again, it's not that serious for this. Um, but yeah, oh, that was cool. And again, I I'm not asking for sympathy. I'm definitely not asking for pity. I, I really don't want any pity. I, I guess I'm trying to, again, this is just train of thoughts, I guess. I guess I keep having to justify this video to myself as I'm talking, which I apologize for. I know that can be annoying. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not looking for that um, by saying any of these things. I'm not looking for people to tell me, to validate me. I'm just using this as an example. But again, like, when people air their problems, what they generally would like to hear first is validation that what they feel is real. And then after that, once they feel comfortable and once they feel heard, then trying to solve the problem can be great. But I, like, trying to solve the problem first is what our instinct is. I think especially as people that are very familiar with uh, with problem solving, like people that play video games, because video games are is literally just problem solving. You're doing problem solving 24-7. So it makes sense that that's our, that's our instinct. And it's also just our natural instinct in general, because what happens when we have a problem? We try and solve it. So uh, I, I don't blame anyone for it. And again, if you've, if you've commented something like that, I, I don't want you to feel bad about it um, at all. Like, I genuinely mean that, at all. So if you do, well, 
then maybe you can use that uh, as fuel to uh, to make people feel better in the future. But don't worry about me. I, I'm fine. <laughs> like this, this is all old, old news anyway. I mean, unless you do it in this video, in, in which case, then maybe, <laughs> then maybe you can stop and take like think about it for a little bit but that honestly it's even fine like it's whatever it's whatever again this is not really a big deal it's just an example that you can apply to other situations but yeah anyway so that's why i haven't talked about s some things before and why i've been sometimes concerned about talking about other things it's not that i feel like because what it what what it feels like when uh when i see something like that when i see when i talk about uh whatever and then someone's like, no, 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 but we'll love you anyway. It just makes me feel like people didn't understand what I was saying, which isn't a good feeling. But really, like, these videos are, if you ultimately look at it, more for me than it is for you. Like, I have no idea the, the impact or the effect it'll make or it'll have, if at all. And, and that's not really where my goal should lie anyway. Um, I think my goal should just lie in, like, trying to do what I can do. And whatever happens after that happens. I think that's... Um, that's the way I like to look at things, because I think it makes it a lot healthier, um, makes the process a lot healthier, because I'm not trying to control all the variables. What I used to do was basically, like, the idea of someone disliking me scared me so much that what I tried to do was be a person that nobody could dislike. But that's literally impossible, because, impossible? How do you pronounce that word? It's literally impossible, because someone's going to dislike you for something. And uh, people will dislike you for no reason. And 99% of the time, that reason lies in them and not in you anyway. So, like, why am I trying to control other people? And, like, once I stopped trying to do that... And, again, people are fluctuating. I'm not like that 100% of the time. You know, sometimes I still fall back into it. But it's more about, like, propensity. Like, sometimes I'm more prone to, to worry about that kind of thing. Sometimes I'm not. I just had a thought on the loading screen, though. This is, this is kind of derailing my train of thought that I just built but why am I scared about losing my relatability by like improving and growing as a person that's weird right like why am I worried about that and I just had this thought like okay so I really like helping people I really genuinely do I think most of us do it's like a biological thing like helping other people makes us feel good because it's like evolutionarily that helps us succeed because if we make friends then we won't die alone and or we won't die alone to a tiger we'll have two people and then the tiger will die alone i guess we all ultimately die alone but you know that's what i why why did i bring that up no uh, i think that's okay it, it just is you know it is what it is you can't do anything about it it's just part of life you just accept and uh in its own way it's kind of beautiful because it means you got to exist at all. But that's another that's another train of thought. I lost my original one. Oh yeah. Like I do genuinely enjoy helping people, but how can I even attempt or or trying to help people I should say, cuz I don't really know if anyone <laughs> anyone is ever helped by any guide or any video or anything I do. I don't really know if anyone has helped cuz it's not like I can see any of you. Um but uh, but I'm trying as I guess the the point. Um how can I do that? How can I try to help someone if I'm not even a in a position to help myself? Like, why am I worried about growing as a person to lose my relatability, whatever that means? When, like, literally, if I'm a if I have grown as a person from the spot where I am right now, and people are like, okay, let's say I'm at point A right now, and I'm scared of going to point B because it's like, oh, if, if I don't go to point B, then people at point A won't relate to me, and then. Like, what am I worth? I'm worth nothing if people in point A can't relate to me. But, like, if I get to point B, then I can be like, oh, I was in point A. I know what it's like to be in point A. Here are some things that I've thought about a lot and that have helped me find my own path to point B. And then I can, I don't even know. I can just, like, talk about that. And that's where I am at that moment. I don't know. It's really weird though. Like well, I was Okay, speaking of really weird. That was that was unnatural. I was I'm like for a moment, or not a moment, cuz it's been something I've been thinking about. Wow, these videos are kind of cool. You know what? I'm I'm like talking about helping other people, but it really it's kind of helping myself. I just need to talk about some things, I guess. 
Maybe, maybe, maybe talking out, maybe talking yourself in front of the mirror is a good idea. I think it is actually. Uh, fun fact. I don't know why that was a fun fact. <laughs> I just said fun fact. Sometimes when I don't have anything to say, I say fun fact. <laughs> no, I think that's a good idea. I also think writing out your thoughts is a good idea. I mean, because then you can think about something like I just did. Like, you know what? Losing my relatability, quote unquote, by growing as a person is totally fine because then it means I'll be a different person. Oh, I got my heat wave bonus. Cool. It means I'll be- I can't- I can't go through! Not cool. Anyway, I don't- Like, if I'm at point B, I'll still have the experiences of someone at point A, and I'll also have the experience of someone that's no longer in point A, and I think that's cool too. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've thought about those things, and... It's not like it's com- I, I, It's not like I'm completely, you know, eradicated those... Uh, not ne not ne necessarily negative, but, uh... Something that could lead to a snowball of problematic thoughts. I haven't eradicated it, but uh, I've worked through it a little bit and thought about it, so that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, anyway. You know, I started off this video... Again, this is the third time I've tried to record this portion of it. Um, thinking that that was the only thing that I was going to talk about. And that it would just be this sob sob story is the wrong term because it's not that sad it's not again it's not like that big of a deal it's just been on my mind which is why i wanted to talk about it i think it's important to let yourself think about and talk about things that are on your mind even if you think oh this isn't important but i think it's important to process things so um even if it doesn't seem important i think it's worth just thinking about it, at least for a little bit because how do things get out of control and and over overwhelm you overflow over bubble in the cauldron of your brain it's when you just try and bury it and ignore it so i think it's worth thinking about and giving it the attention it deserves and maybe that attention is not that much time because it doesn't need that much time but i still think it's worth it i also in the first minute of this game missed this azoth with 30 attacks in a row so we're gonna try not do that this time but uh <laughs> yeah um but then I ended up talking about some other things, which is, uh, which is cool. And I'm kind of, you know, again, I don't publish these videos a lot of the time when I make them, but I think this one I will. I think this one I will. So yeah, I don't know. I, I, I'm in a better mood than I was when I pressed start record, which is a good thing. Because if I'm not, then I never publish a video. I guess that goes a little bit into to making videos and, and what I get out of videos, which is I love making videos. Like, I, I love it so much, man. It, it's, it's great. I don't know why I said man there. It's a, it's a, it's a mannerism. <laughs> get it? Get it? Get it? I noticed this in the, in the end screen of that last game. I'm literally up so late that the battle pass <laughs> reset. Okay, I, I should probably, uh, I should probably get some sleep. I'll close it off after this game. You know what? I love these videos. I love making these videos. These are some of my favorites. They they really are. Yeah, I'm the type of person, and you see this a lot on my channel, where it's like sporadic. Because there were times when I made five Lone Legends in a row, and then Lone Legend to Diamond was just all over my channel, and there hasn't been a Lone Legend to Diamond in like a month. Why is that? I haven't been in the mood to make a Lone Legend to Diamond. And that's literally it. The, the thought of making a Lone Legend Diamond right now does not interest me at all. And again, if I'm not, like, in a better mood... <laughs> like, videos put me in a good mood. And the thought of making a Lone Legend of Diamond right now does not put me in a good mood, so I don't want to make it. And I'm the type of person that rotates interests, like, very, very fast. And so I kind of need a lot of things to do. So right now, like, making stream highlights... This video right now, these are, like, super interesting to me. Uh, the thought of making a guide right now is not... Um, but then there are times when the thought of making a guide is the only thing I want to do. So there's a period of time when I made just like six guides in a row on this channel. Uh, so, you know, if you're down for that, I hope you're down for that along for the ride where I just get bored quickly and I just want to make a lot of things. And then sometimes I want to make one thing. And then sometimes I want to make not that one thing and, and only another thing. And the thought of the first thing disgusts me. <laughs> Yuck, gross. So, yeah, anyway. But I think... This might be a streak of making some casual commentaries, or not. I don't know what, what I'm going to feel like tomorrow. We'll, we'll take that as it comes, you know. Tomorrow's another day. The only thing we can do is uh, whatever we can do today. What I can do today is apparently getting hit by like six recoveries in a row. But at least it wasn't seven. Yeah.
least it wasn't seven. Boosh! Okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes I'm just really stupid. Other times, I'm a little less of a brainlet than usual. Still brainlet. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves here. I don't think I'm ever gonna not be a brainlet. But sometimes that brainlet shows a couple more grooves than usual. And then I start talking like this, and it's apparent that uh, everything, any progress I've ever made is gone. But, <laughs> but that's fine, and I'm okay with that. So I hope you are too. All right, this video was, I don't know, kind of cathartic in a way. Is that the word? I think that's the word. I guess we'll get to doing the battle pass some other time. I wonder what the brawl of the week is. Oh, it's beach brawl. All right, we'll head to the beach. Not in real life though, because don't do that, please. And, uh, and I'll see you next time.